Hi, Brian here and this is the last video for question 32 requirement B of the ACCA F5 March June 2017 exam paper. In this paper, the requirement says discuss the performance of the People's Bank using the balance scorecard. In earlier videos, I've already covered the three other perspectives, which is financial perspective, customer perspective, and internal processes. So this video is the last one. We'll be covering the final perspective, which is the learning and growth perspective of the balance scorecard. You can see that there are four performance measures which are stated in this area. So we'll be going through them one by one and we'll be discussing that and linking it to other information available in the question. Now the first one is the number of colleagues number of colleagues trained to provide advice to SMEs. We stick the obvious comparison first. The People's Bank did not meet its target for the year. 1,300 is less than 1,500. So for this scenario, we are not quite sure why this has happened. This means that further investigation may be required into why this target was not met. There could be many reasons. Um, it could be because uh, maybe the training program was under revamp or was delivered late. Um, maybe it was a volunteer thing and not many colleagues volunteered to be trained to give advice. Um, it could be a high attrition rate. Maybe colleagues were not did not have the required skills to be trained to become an SME uh, advisor. So whatever the reason is, for, it's not really stated here. So further investigation may have been required. One of the side effects of this KPI being, um, or this performance measure being failed or negative, is that it has a negative effect on new lending to SMEs, which we can see over here in the financial perspective. They did not manage to lend their target amount of money to the SMEs and this could be because of the lack of qualified SME advisors. So that has a negative effect there. The second performance measure we are looking at is the number of hours paid by the People's Bank used to support community projects. So in this particular example, the People's Bank has exceeded its target where 1.02 million is more than 1 million hours. So that is a, maybe a good thing. However, um, one potential side effect of spending so many hours to support community projects is that it might have affected ROI negatively. If we look at the financial perspective, the ROI or ROCE has dropped from 12% to 11%. And this could be due to expenditure on this side. Now, the reason why this has happened is maybe the People's Bank has extended its coverage of community organizations. So you cover more community organizations. Therefore, you need to invest more time. The next performance measure we'll be looking at is the number of disadvantaged trainees taken up. You'll find it here from Naukri's most disadvantaged areas. The obvious statistic is the People's Bank did not meet its target. However, as you can see from the numbers, the difference is actually very small and it could be due to some limitations beyond its control. Maybe they did not get enough candidates applying or something like that. So due to limitations in the recruitment drive coverage, so maybe in the future they have learned something from this exercise and they know where to find the qualified candidates from the disadvantaged areas. The fourth and the last performance measure we'll be looking at is the number of community organizations supported either through funding or by volunteers from the People's Bank. In this scenario, the People's Bank has exceeded its target with 7,250 organizations supported compared to a target of 7,000. This again could be due to a wider coverage of the People's Bank um, due to increasing market coverage. So because they are more involved in more communities, they will support more projects. So this might have a good effect 
of increasing benefits to the bank in the long run as people start to know about the People's Bank and the community service that they do. However, in the short term, in this year, the costs of covering so many community organisations may have again affected ROI negatively as we can see over here. So in conclusion, the overall performance of the People's Bank is that it has a reasonably successful year. It's achieved quite a lot of its targets, although some of them were not really met. And room for improvement, especially in the financial area, where it did not meet its targets for ROI, as well as the net interest margin and new lending criteria, and also for the internal processes, where you have less services made available they might think about expanding there and also the carbon dioxide emissions were significantly higher than targeted okay so that ends my question 32 you can see any more videos related to this particular paper in the pop-up videos that occur now and uh, good luck with your exams thank you very much